everybody, this is Greg, your librarian at Lake Washington Institute of Technology, and today we are going to be taking a look at the ProQuest Culturegrams, a research database that provides some amazing information about geographies all around the world. To get to Culturegrams, please access it using the link on the LW Tech Library website. Once you get to Culturegrams, you will be seeing this page, which is divided into four major sections, World Edition, Kids Edition, States Edition, and Provinces Edition. States being, of course, related to the U.S. states and provinces being related to the Canadian provinces. You'll also note up at the top there is an update bar with new information added recently to Culturegrams. And please take note that Culturegrams also maintains a blog and a Twitter account that is quite active. I highly recommend you check those out as well. If you need additional help or information about Culturegrams, you can access that on the very bottom of the page. Now, what is Culturegrams? Culturegrams is a editor-heavy resource or research center that provides a lot of different types of information basically broken down into geographic categories. Today I'm going to show you exactly what that means from the States edition and once you have this new knowledge you can take the knowledge and explore the other areas of the website as you come across new research needs throughout your time here at Lake Washington Institute of Technology and beyond. So we are going to start with the States edition simply clicking on Explore will bring us to the United States of America main page. From the top bar you can note that you can search the website and the States Edition or you can easily move to the other sections of the website as well by selecting them on that drop down menu. You will also notice that there are several main areas on the top of the page and these are different depending on where you are in the Culturegrams website. So if you are in the World Edition, you will note different and similar areas. You can also select specific areas within the edition that you're using. So States Edition has all of the states of the United States of America. You can also see quick links and areas to explore on the left hand side and then a handy map that provides you with links to the different pages for the different states. You can also download different maps in PDF format here which can be helpful if you're using them as a reference for a presentation or you're building a project and you need a map. You can also scroll through and browse the states using these hyperlink bars here. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my home state, which is the state of Maine. Clicking on Maine will take us to the Maine page. Now this is where Culturegrams really excels. The more narrow you go, the more information you actually get. Here in Maine, we have a wonderful profile. We have quick facts, we have the flag, we have the facts that the editors of Culturegrams have thrown together, including a groaner in Maine is a foghorn that has one long tone. A grunter has two. I think that's absolutely brilliant. You can also get different reports. This entire report, state report in the States Edition can be exported into different formats here or emailed to yourself if you want to reference it later. Going to the different pages within the main profile will get you even more information on that state. For example, if we click on the population, we will be taken to a very beautifully designed population bar relating to the different types of information that are within this geographic area. In this case, it's divided by race. As you can see, Maine is a very white state at 95%. But it also breaks down the other populations as well. You are able to also cite this information into APA and ALA by clicking on the bar and then it will pop up with a very convenient citation which you can copy and then paste into your report. 
I believe that one of the best things about culturegrams is its design. It is very easy to use and there's a lot of information within it and it's fun to explore. You'll find yourself looking through different pages and then simply wanting to see a lot of historical and factual information about different places that you might not ever have seen before. The ability to navigate in a lot of different and quick ways and then share through the different types of reporting tools that are available makes Culturegrams a really amazing resource. One more thing before I close this video, I wanted to show you back at the beginning page of the Culturegrams website, you will notice that one of their recent additions are videos. Now clicking on the videos link will take you to the Culturegrams World Edition, but within the World Edition you can see that there are under this videos page, from the top bar there's also a similar photos page, a bunch of different amazing videos that are all here available to be streamed. Most of them are fairly short, but some of them are much longer and accessing them will load the video right in your browser, allowing you to get access to some great information, some beautiful content that you can use in your presentations, in your projects, and so on and so forth. That is Culturegrams as an introduction. I highly recommend you take a look at all of the other features that are available in Culturegrams. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to get in touch with your librarians or anyone uh, that is working at the library desk. We'd be happy to help you learn more about using Culturegrams for the best during your time here at Lake Washington Institute of Technology. Thank you very much. See you soon.